Can you actually upgrade Ubuntu 6.06 all the way to 20.04 in practice, like in real life? And then we'll just put 6.06. All right, now let's go ahead and start this upgrade. And there we go. Let's upgrade to 14.04. And there we go. So far, we made it to 14.04. In case you haven't seen part one of this video, I encourage you to go check it out. It'll be linked up in the card and down in the description. But without further ado, let's continue the upgrade process that I started in part one of this video. So in case you forgot, we left off at Ubuntu 14.04. But anyway, what we're gonna do is go up to the launcher here and open up Software Updater. This is actually the first LTS release that called its Update Manager Software Updater instead of Update Manager and used this interface for Software Updater. All right, let's click Upgrade, punch in our password, click Upgrade again, and let it do its thing. All right, let's just ignore this. All right, seems so far so good. So let's start this upgrade. All right, let's just use like DM as our display manager. And we can restart these services during package upgrades without asking. This may not be a good sign, but let's just ignore this and see what happens. Ooh, this is not good. Alright, let's just hit enter here. Okay, it says this upgrade has completed, but there were errors during the upgrade process. That's not a good sign. Let's just close out of that. Now let's reboot the system and see what happens. Hmm, I don't know why it's not giving me the option to reboot. Let's just try doing it here. Okay, looks like I have to reboot this from the VM software. Alright, seems so far so good. Let's just try logging in and see what happens. Okay, booted me back to the login screen. So that means that we had a failed upgrade, but we're not gonna give up. Let's just try going to the command line, logging in from there, then do a sudo apt-get dist-upgrade just to see what happened. Yeah, let's continue that. Okay, it looks like our system is broken. So that would mean that we have to do a partial reinstall. And no, we're not doing a full reinstall because that would be cheating. Even though it's not quite the same as an actual upgrade, it's close enough. And besides, the rules are, as long as our files stay intact, that counts as an upgrade. But anyway, let's just connect our 16.04 ISO, then reboot the system by doing a sudo reboot. Then let's boot into our Ubuntu 16.04 installation media. Okay, so now what we have to do is just go through this installer as if we were doing a fresh installation. The only difference is when you get to installation type, don't click erase or install alongside. Click something else, then click continue. And then it'll bring you to this screen. What we need to do here is select our ext3 partition. Now, on a normal Ubuntu installation, this would be ext4, but since I installed this as 6.06, .06, it's ext3, because the ext4 didn't exist back then. But anyway, we just click on that, then click change. Then we just keep the size the same. Then under use as, we have to select the same file system that's already being used which in our case is ext3. Then we have to not check format the partition, then set our mount point to slash, then click OK, then click continue. All right, now that actually took a while, but once that's done, we have to make sure that the partition's format box is not checked off, then click install now. And then it'll give us a different message than what you would get if you were doing a clean install. Then we just click continue. And then it's gonna complain that no partition table changes and no creation of file systems have been planned. We're gonna continue anyway. Then select our time zone. We are in the Toronto time zone. And then we have to select our keyboard layout. And then we have to set our user account again. This is the exact same information I used to set up the system when I installed Ubuntu 6.06. .06. But anyway, let's click continue. And then it'll go ahead and do our partial reinstallation.
Okay, the system's taking a while on this restoring previously installed packages step, so I'm actually gonna just stop this installation process. I'm sure the system's installed properly, so let's just boot into it and see what happens. Okay, so far it's not doing anything, so let's actually just skip to 18.04 and do a partial reinstallation on that. Basically, the same principle that we followed last time with the partial reinstallation. Let's go to something else. Set up our partitions again without formatting anything, of course. Then make sure it's not going to format anything. Then click install now. Then click continue, continue. Then click continue again. Then set up our user account again. And again, these are the same account settings that I punched in when I did my original 6.06 .06 installation. But anyway, let's just hit continue and let it do its thing. Okay, let's just update these folder names quickly, and then we just go through this setup process, and there we go. Looks like this upgrade was successful, so it should be smooth sailing from here. Let's just get my display scaling properly. Okay, now let's go back into our Ubuntu releases.odt file, and then we'll put in 18.04. To acknowledge that, we've upgraded to 18.04 successfully. Unfortunately, we did have to skip 16.04, because it ended up being a broken system. But in the end, it really doesn't matter, as long as the the end result is a working Ubuntu 20.04 system. But anyway, let's just save this and close out of this. But anyway, let's just go into software updater and then let's go ahead and install these updates quickly. and then restart the system. And by the way, I just want to say that using this release brings back so many memories of me switching to Linux for the first time. But anyway, let's continue our upgrade by going into Software Updater again, and then click Upgrade, then punch in our password, then click Upgrade again. Alright, seems so far so good, so let's click Start Upgrade, and it's going to give us this message that our lock screen has been disabled. We'll just hit Close. Okay, let's just click Next here. Alright, looks like this upgrade went well, so let's just remove any obsolete packages. And restart the system. Okay, something went wrong during our upgrade process, so we're gonna have to do another partial reinstallation, this time with our Ubuntu 20.04 ISO. Let's just reboot our system and boot from the CD ROM drive again. And again, we just go through this as if we were doing a clean install, and then we just click something else under installation type, then click continue, and then configure our partitions without formatting them, make sure it's not going to format anything, then click install now, then click continue, then continue again, then continue again, and again these are the same account settings I used when I was doing my original Ubuntu 6.06 .06 installation, but anyway we're going to click continue. Okay, let's ignore this system problem detected error, and an error occurred while restoring previously installed applications. It's safe to ignore that. And then we'll click restart now. Alright, now that we're in our Ubuntu 20.04 installation, let's go into our Ubuntu releases.odt file. And let's ignore all of these, and then add a line that says 20.04 to acknowledge that we've upgraded to Ubuntu 20.04 successfully, then save that, and now we've completed our upgrade process. So, turns out it is possible to upgrade Ubuntu 6.06 .06 LTS all the way to 20.04 LTS. The only catch is that you have to do a partial reinstall once you reach 16.04 and 20.04. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was interesting, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. And you may want to do that stuff with part one of this video as well.